good morning i welcome you all again in this online class already we have discussed the various properties of nuclei and the force existing between nucleons as already i have told you that the force between nucleons is of salt range nature and it also saturates and in order to discuss how this uh, what kind of force is existing between these nucleons for that purpose the only way is to study the pp scattering or pn scattering or the deuteron which is in a bound uh, in which the nucleons are in bound state so in today's online lecture we will discuss about uh, we will discuss the various properties of the deuteron so deuteron is a bound state of two nucleons so let us consider deuteron in order to find nature of forces between nucleons the deuteron possesses measurable properties which might serve as a guide in the search for the correct nature of nuclear interactions and these properties are number 1 the extraordinary stability of the alpha particles shows that the most stable nuclei are those Uh, in which number of neutrons and protons are equal the deuteron consists of two particles of roughly equal mass m so that the reduced mass of this system deuteron system is m by 2 number 2 the binding energy of the deuteron is very small and its experimental value is 2.225 plus minus 0.02 mev since uh, the energy re required to pull a nucleon out a medium mass nucleus is about at mev which uh, we have found from the binding energy curve we must regard the deuteron as a loosely bound system number 3 the angular momentum quantum number which we often call the nuclear spin of the ground state of the deuteron determined by a number of optical radio frequency and microwave methods is 1 it suggests that spins are parallel and the orbital angular momentum of the deuteron about their common center of mass is 0 and the ground state of uh, this deuteron is s state number 4 the parity of deuteron as measured indirectly by study of nuclear disintegrations and reactions for which certain rules of parity changes exist is found even means the parity of deuteron is even number 5 the sum of the magnetic dipole moment 
of the proton is 2.79275 mu n and neutron is minus 1.91315 mu n which don't exactly equal to magnetic moment of the deuteron which is 0.85735 mu n measured by magnetic resonance absorption method number 6 a radio frequency molecular beam method has been employed to determine the quadrupole moment of the deuteron which we find is Q equals to 0.00282 into 10 to the power minus 28 meter square, and this shows the departure from spherical symmetry of a charge distribution. Because as you have studied in your earlier classes, that is in BSc part third, that for the spherical uh, is symmetric nature of the charge distribution this must be zero but it is not zero although it is quite small so this pos uh, positive quadrupole moment indicates that this distribution is prolate rather than oblate since the neutron has no charge the force between the neutrons and proton cannot be electrical this force cannot be magnetic as ma magnetic moment are very small it cannot be gravitational force as the masses are uh, very small so we must accept the nuclear force as a new type of force the this force is short range attractive and along the line joining the two particles uh, that is central force since a central force cannot account for the quadru um, quadrupole moment of the deuteron as a quadrupole moment is small the assumption um, that uh, the um, force is of uh, um, central uh, nature can be uh, approximated correctly the um, now the force depends only upon the separation of the Nu uh, uh, nucleons, not on the relative velocity or orientation of the nucleons uh, spins with respect to the line. This force can be derived from a potential, since the force is attractive. V R is negative. For attractive force, this potential energy V R is negative and decreases with uh, decreasing R, since it is short range. So this uh, potential v r uh, where uh, vanishes for r greater than equals um, r greater than b where b is of 3 fermi where b is the uh, uh, range of the uh, nuclear uh, radius so uh, let us consider the schrodinger wave equation for this two body uh, problem that is laplace in psi plus Twice m by h square e minus v psi equals to zero, and the mass m is small m, where capital M is the mass of proton or mass of neutron. That is twice into reduced mass of neutron, as we have already discussed. Uh, point number one that the reduced uh, reduced mass of this uh, neutron system. is capital m which is twice m uh, which is uh, m by 2 so we can write uh, twice m as m so this schrodinger equation is laplace in psi plus capital m by h square e minus p psi equals to 0 where capital m is the reduced mass uh, and capital e is the total energy of the system which is equals to binding energy of the deuteron and v is the potential energy describing the force acting between the two bodies now this schrodinger equation can be written in terms of spherical polar coordinates as uh, and uh, all these things 
are given in the book of BSc part third which uh, um, you have already uh, studied. So uh, in spherical polar coordinates this Schrodinger equation becomes 1 upon r square del upon del r r square del psi by del r plus 1 upon r square sin theta del by del theta sin theta del psi by del theta plus 1 upon r square sin square theta delta 2 psi upon del phi square plus capital m by h square e minus v psi equals to 0 and uh, uh, let us assume that v r theta phi actually depends on uh, this potential energy only depends on the coordinate r and not on theta and phi so this solution can be written by method of separation of variables as psi r theta phi equals to psi r which is only function of r and psi theta phi which is only function of theta phi so by substituting this in equation 2 we get 1 upon r square del by del r r square del psi by del r plus capital m by h square e minus v r minus l l plus 1 h square upon r square capital m psi r equals to 0 um, in order to get this equation what we have did is we substituted psi uh, r theta phi equals to psi r psi theta phi in equation 2 we multiplied this equation by r square and again we divided it by uh, 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 r theta and phi and uh, um, in this way by the method of separation of variables um, both sides uh, one side having r and one side having theta and phi coordinates both are separated and um, and uh, in this case both sides should be equal to a constant and this constant we have assumed l l plus 1 and um, by equating um, both the sides uh, um, with this constant l l plus 1 we get this radial um, this is your radial equation where this constant l is the angular momentum number of the system the schrodinger equation uh, for uh, ground state uh, for ground state l equals to 0 so by substituting l equals to 0 in this equation we get 1 upon r square del by del r r square del psi by del r plus m by h square e minus v psi r equals to 0 we expect the ground state to be spherical is symmetric which is your s state so that psi depends only on r so by substituting psi r equals to u r upon r in equation 4 uh, where u r is actually radial wave function we get d t u upon d r square plus capital m by h square e minus v u equals to 0 the wave function of the bound state of the deuteron is not markedly dependent on the exact shape of the potential v r between a pot, uh, pro, uh, proton and uh, neutron uh, provided uh, uh, that a potential of salt range is chosen for simplicity we represent v r by a square well of depth v r and radius v where v b is the range of nuclear force the potential function uh, in this way we can define uh, as v r equals to minus v zero this is a square well potential of depth v zero and radius v b so it is minus v zero for uh, r less than b and greater than zero and its value is zero for r less than zero and greater than b that is out the um, outside uh, the range of the nuclear force so for ground state uh, this e equals to minus b where b is uh, the binding energy of the deuteron so this uh, equation becomes d2 u upon dr square plus capital m by h square v0 minus b u equals to 0 for r less than b and for r greater than b this v0 is 0 so it comes plus m by h square minus b u equals to 0 now the solution of these equations uh, 6 and 7 are u equals to a1 sin kr plus b1 cos kr and uh, for uh, the solution of equation 7 is u equals to a2 e k power alpha r plus b2 e k power minus alpha r where k equals to root m v0 minus b upon h square and alpha is 
capital under root m b upon h square. Now we uh, employ the boundary conditions, which are u uh, uh, tends to zero uh, when uh, u equals to zero when r tends to zero and u tends um, u is zero when r tends to infinity. By employing these bo boundary conditions, the solution uh, at and nine becomes u equals to a one sin k r and u equals to b two e k power minus alpha r. And now uh, we apply the uh, continuity equation that is at r equals to b the both. The, the wave function should be continuous. Therefore, equating the values and the first derivation of u at, uh, as you know, that the uh, continuity condition is that the wave function and its derivatives should be continuous or should be equal at r equals to b. So we get a one sine k b equals to minus uh, equals to b two e k power minus alpha b and uh, uh, if we um, make equal the derivatives at r equals to b we get a1 k cos k b equals to minus b2 alpha e k power minus alpha b and now if we divide uh, we get k cot k b equals to minus alpha which is a very important equation the physical implication uh, interpretation of this equation we will study in and uh, another class now uh, let us consider the mm, this uh, we can uh, conclude from this analysis that the deuteron is a loosely bound system so this can be proved like this the probability of finding neutron and proton within the range b of nuclear nuclear force is given by uh, probability as you know equals to um, integration psi square dr and here psi is equals to u so p equals to integration 0 to b u square dr and as you know um, uh, within the range of b or uh, for r uh, less than b we have um, obtained that u equals to a1 sin kr so p becomes uh, integration 0 to b a1 square sin square kr dr and uh, here this a1 um, which is your constant can be found by normalization condition and the normalization condition is that psi square dr equals to 1 psi equals to ur upon r so uh, integration 0 to infinity ur upon r magnitude square dr equals to 1 and this integration can be written in two parts one from uh, r uh, less than b and another for r greater than b so for r less than b the limits of this integration are 0 to b and for uh, um, r greater than b the limits of this integration are from b to infinity so from integration 0 to b uh, u magnitude square dr plus integration b to uh, limits from b to infinity u um, uh, magnitude square dr equals to 1 and by solving this equation we find the value of a1 equals to twice alpha upon 1 plus alpha b uh, power half. Now by substituting this value of a1 in equation 14 that is uh, in p that is uh, p which is equals to integration 0 to b a1 square sin square kr dr so we have obtained the value of a1 so we get that this probability this probability of finding neutron and proton within the range of uh, range b of nuclear nuclear force is uh, comes out 0.316 or p equals to 31 point six percent this this shows that probability of finding the neutron and proton within the nuclear nuclear force is small being about only 31 percent it means uh, 70 percent it uh, remains outside this nuclear nuclear force so the, this proves that the neutron is a uh, loosely bound system so that's all in this class Mm, thank you very much.